What is up guys, it's Masters here today analyzing the first Lego Ninjago movie trailer. So let's jump right into it. So first off, the trailer opens off with just a scene of these brand new just villain vehicles flying around. You can see they are water themed and you can see these yellow sort of like safety boat which is just one giant Lego mode. So I'm assuming if these were made into a set that those would be able to detach and they look overall pretty cool. We then see this new villain just jumping down from the skies. Now this guy seems like he'd be pretty important to me just based off the whole way he makes his entrance. And he has an overall pretty cool helmet which is a new mold. Well not a new mold but it's got a new print on it. And then also interesting enough you can see that he's carrying a gun which is a little bit interesting for Ninjago. Garmadon then makes his first appearance in this trailer. And this interesting black shark vehicle, it looks pretty cool as you can see. And then we also get a pretty nice new sort of look at Garmadon. He's got some really nice prints and that helmet is just awesome. The trailer then shows off Garmadon's minions for the first time, which are pretty interesting. They seem to be shark themed warriors and then there's also some villain vehicles in the background which you can see, which seem to be based off sea creatures. We also get to see our first picture as the ninja as the team sort of going into battle here with the just full ninja geese fully on here with the hoods and everything. And you see actually in the background Zane is holding a crossbow which once again, once again is interesting because of the lack of just guns in Ninjago prior to this point. And now we are given our first look at the ninja's vehicles. So first off is Lloyd's dragon. You can see just this front on view is just awesome. There's this another just a great side view where you can just see the whole sort of like structure of the dragon you see Lloyd leaping off and you see he leaps off into battle and you can once again see some of the shark minions and you can see that they're actually holding sea themed weapons the one has a sort of uh, sword which is made with a fish piece and then a spike and the other one has a stud shooter which is shooting off a fish you can also see in the background here as Lloyd attacks the um shark villains there's two other shark villains but they have sort of like squid heads so it looks to me like these may be civilians that have been either possessed and are now under Garmadon's control or they're just sort of like being attacked and then that's just kind of what's you know what they are doing with the civilians we're also given this cool shot of Garmadon just sort of like leading a bunch of different villains and then you can see for the first time a really nice look at Kai's mech and then you see Cole's mech coming down in the background, and then you see all of the ninja's vehicles together. Now, you can see here, these aren't the best pictures, but I also find some pictures of Jay's sort of flying jet, which looks kind of like the Milano from Guardians of the Galaxy. And then Nia also has the spider walker, which you can see in these pictures, which looks pretty cool. Zane has this just giant tank-like vehicle, which I'm really excited for. And then Cole just has another one of these mechs, which has a giant wheel on the bottom, so it'll be interesting to see how they actually manage to have that balance in the official set. The trailer then shows off a confrontation scene between the ninja and Lord Garmadon, sort of showing off a little bit of the plot here. And you can see another look at that shark vehicle that Garmadon was controlling, and it looks like it's been destroyed by the ninja. We're given a very brief look at the Kai mech, and then we go to this sort of uh, workshop or dojo area where we see Sensei Wu again from the teaser trailer. And then we can once again see from the teaser trailer the ninjas getting equipped right before we see a look at the Destiny's Bounty, which is very interesting to see in this movie. I did not expect that, but it looks pretty cool. And then we also see a look at Cole inside of his mech, which is just nice because you get a look at what Cole looks like with the hood and everything. You can see what the inside of the mech is like and how he would be controlling it. We once again see this picture of the ninja we've, we've seen many times before. However, there is something I want to point out. If you look at the ninja, you can see they have this writing on their gi. And if you look and count the letters, the letters, like the number of letters actually count, um, match up with the elemental powers. So Kai has four, as in like four letters and fire. Nia has five for water. Zane has three for ice and etc. So that's just, you know, a little bit of a cool little tidbit there. We get another look at the mech slash sort of flyer shark thing that Garmadon was using to attack the city. You can actually see Garmadon piloting it from up top. We get another look at Cole's mech this time attacking this crab villain vehicle which looks pretty cool but you know this isn't exactly the best picture. You also get a nice look at the two um, just villains here. You get a really nice up close look. You, they look pretty cool. You can see a lot of the printing there. Um, they are interesting though and then you can also see Sensei Wu fighting Lord Garmadon. 
The trailer then ends off with Cole's mech and Zane's tank pulling into the garage, and then you can see Nia comforting Lloyd and Jay, telling him that all their parents have quirks and that his mom collects seashells and that his dad just is evil, like trying to take over the world and cause harm to the innocent. And lastly, along with the trailer, we got a new poster release today which shows Lloyd Garmadon standing over a, a lake and then you can see his reflection of him as a ninja in the river, which is a pretty decent poster. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and let me know what you guys thought about the trailer. You, you know, you can tell the hair and stuff is still the same, which, you know, in my opinion, I'm not a huge fan of the hair. However, I am getting a little more used to it. Yeah. Go ahead and let me know what you guys think. Until next time, see you guys later.